All right, so I looked it up. It is just straight up random. Someone made a list of all of the uh, creatures you can tame. And uh, I looked up the list and tried to find uh, this one I have to tame. But um, yeah, and it's random. So, where is it? Is this? Anyways, the the one I have to tame, the one that I haven't gotten yet, is a six percent chance to tame. It it has a six percent chance. And uh, yeah, that's that's very low. Where is it? Supposedly there's a defeat count on these. I literally can't find it. I'm blind. Yes. Oh, there it is. I've defeated 18 of them. And what's the one that I did get? This? I defeated nine of them. Okay, so it does show that you've tamed it. I didn't check up um, what's the percentage on this, but yeah. It's just not... I just don't like it. Um, so I'm just not gonna do it. I'll probably do it off camera, or attempt to do it off camera, but I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Like, leave me alone. Like, sure, I could grind it out. I could get it in the next fight. Or... It will take me like a hundred kills to get it. Sure, maybe maybe I just fight it there. I just go to my objective while fighting them. I won't actually grind it out properly. So I've said this before. RNG is RNG can be okay, but it can also be terrible. This is one of the instances where it's terrible. Because it's for a side quest, right? So you're just hoping that you get it. You're hoping that eventually you'll roll a dice and you'll hit a number. That's essentially what you're hoping for. So why RNG is terrible? is precisely because of that. You can... You can get it next try, or you could just straight up never get it. Sure, it's like really impossible to never actually get it. Like after like... Let's say a really high number, like after a million fights, you don't get it. Sure, that's like near impossible, but it's it's still a possibility. That's why RNG is terrible in this context. There is a chance I will never be able to finish that quest. Just because of RNG. Oh right, uh, I have to, I have to, I have to change.
Okay, that does stop the bar from draining. Like, that's not even the one I intended to get. I just got it. Sure. And the fact that it's such a low percentage makes it worse. It's 6%. Sure, I've grinded out stuff that I had lower percentage than that before. But it's still... I'm going the wrong way. Oh. Well, it's still a low enough number to the point that you can kill... You can fight it hundreds of times and still not get it. If it was a higher number... Okay, so I looked at some of the numbers uh, on the uh, list. I think the highest number I saw was like 13% or something. It wasn't that high, but it's high enough. Like if it was like maybe 30% chance to get some of these, then that would be decent. Sure, it's not like you're gonna get it straight away. But it's a high enough number to the point where after a couple of attempts, you'll you'll probably get it. It's not like you're gonna be grinding out like hundreds of hours to get something. But that's not all. There's probably multiple quests where you have to tame a specific, uh, specific creatures. So it's just like, you're just constantly rolling a dice, hoping to hit that one number. And if you just never get it, well, I guess... Have fun. Oh, you can metamorphose. Can you do that right now? You need a plus. No? I can't give him any of these. So I, I don't know how that works either. But yeah, it could just take an eternity, and you could never get it. And that's what's wrong with RNG. Like, it would have been better if it was... After a certain number of fights... Like, RNG's fine. Sort of. But it needs a fail safe, basically. Because, like I said, you could never fight the thing hundreds of times and never get it. Like, if they added a fail safe to that, like, sure, it has a low chance of dropping or taming. But after like 100 fights, you're guaranteed to have a tame. That wouldn't make it as bad. Wow, it actually ran away. I never fought that thing before. Like, that would make it bearable. Because at least at some point, you know you're making progress. Eventually, you will get what you want. With RNG, it's not. You might not. Okay, so like I said, RNG is not terrible all the time. Like, these damage numbers, they're RNG. 
I'm hitting between like 10 and 14. That's not terrible. Why that's not terrible is because you're not grinding something. You're not constantly trying to roll a dice hoping to hit a certain number. You just kind of hit a number and just take it because that's the damage you're doing. Of course, it would only be bad is if you're just constantly trying to hit max damage every single hit. That's essentially what you're trying to do when you're hoping for a certain number. In combat, it's like whatever. You you uh, miss, you get a hit, it's whatever. You can improve your chances of, uh, of getting hits by improving your accuracy. But it's like, it's kind of whatever if it misses. Sure, it could lose you a fight, but it's it's still kind of whatever. But drop rates and tame rates and all that, I just don't like the RNG involved with those. Because you're, you're not making progress. Like, for... The damage, you're hitting for 14 or something, doesn't matter, number. You're hitting the enemy, you're making progress to defeating him because you're doing damage. But after killing an enemy, you're not making progress to uh, getting a tame. You're getting a chance to make progress. And your chance is you either get it or you don't. And if you don't get it, well, you're you're not getting it. You have to try again. You have to try again and again and again. Because that's just it. You either get it or you don't. But for for damage, you're always going to like increase your percentage towards defeating. As long as you roll it. As long as you uh, don't miss. What, what am I doing? I didn't do this yet. Oh, Doubting Dillies. We battered those ten boneheads for you. Flipping. Easy flipping peasy. By the beards of the ancients. You? But how? Now your supplies can get true safely, ma'am. Have a nice day. I, I can't thank you enough. You have saved my livelihood. Please, you must accept this as your reward. Got a bone sword. You're already wearing a bone sword. I don't think anyone else can wear swords. So yeah, that's, that's basically why I don't like this taming system. Like, if they added a failsafe, then it's fine. Or something to increase your chance at taming. Because 6% is such a low number. Okay, it's not that low of a number, but it's still a low number. I've had to grind out percentages before at something like... Uh, what was the number? 0.005% or something? On something that was not easy to find as well. So yeah. I just don't like these RNG things. Where make, it forces you to grind. It forces you to grind with uncertainty, basically. Because... What's forcing you to grind in a game is progression, generally, right? Like, you can't be a boss. Well, grind for some levels. Okay? 
However, every fight you win, you're getting progression towards levels. So, we're still progressing towards that. This taming and drop rates are just like... Well, you get it or you don't. And that's that. You go from either 0 to 0 or 0 to 100. But if you're going for levels, you go from like 0 to like 10. And then 10 to like 20 after every fight. It's guaranteed progression. And especially if it's something like... Uh, I don't know what I was actually going to go without. Also, I'm learning abilities and I haven't been checking them out. Probably won't. Fling Flam. But Roly Poly is strong, isn't it? Stuff like this, I don't know how much damage these do. There's no numbers or anything. It's just like, well, deals physical damage to an enemy. Oh, this deals physical damage to a single enemy. Oh, this deals physical damage to a single enemy as well. Oh, what's better? Well, I guess we can guess by the MP cost, but that's about it. You don't really need that. I don't know what that stutter was about. Oh, there's some spicy seeds. I need three of those, right? Small fry. I guess water and ice would be good here. And just like that, first fight, I get a, I get a team. It's like, I just, like, that's nice that I get a first try, but I still dislike it because of its RNG. Emberlina. Coals. They can be coals. Also, I'm not great at making names, so I'm just gonna let the suggestions do it for me. Check the screen. I don't know. I just like consistency, I guess. I just don't really like the RNG aspect. jump it. Oh my, look at that river of lava. Hey, don't you know a spell which could get us across, Oliver? I know just the spell. Rejuvenate. What's Broom Broom? Breathes life into brooms, cloud sweepers, and other brush-like objects. Huh. Bridge. So what's the bridge look like? Is it going to be rock? It's actually going to be rock. 
not some magic light bridge. Oh, it's the Brigley Boo that I didn't get. Enough seeds now. Old Smokey. What? There was a chest there? I just kind of pressed A. What, what did I get? Phoenix Feather. Wait. Was there a chest there? I cannot see it. Okay. As soon as you see that heart mark, it's time for Esther to take over and start serenading. Okay, maybe I just start spamming A in places now. Old Smoky, the Molten Mountain. This is old Smokey. Cheapers, the whole mountain is on fire. Wow, I've always seen it from town, but I've never been this close before. Well, don't stand there gawping. It ain't exactly what you might call safe round by here. That's why people and fairies tend to steer clear. And anywhere us lot give a wide breath, you can bet beasties will flipping love. Brace yourselves, we're in for a bum bumpy ride. Watch out for the lava, Oliver. I doubt even a wizard could survive falling into that. Don't worry, I'll be real careful. If we all work together, we'll make it through this, just like we made it through the trials. You're right. There's inspirational. Tidy. Let's crack on then, shall we? Don't stop till we reach the top. Interesting flowers. I'll shake the screen, it's so intense. Hello, hello, hello. How can I help you today? So I don't need skeleton, I don't need you. I need some backups. You attack pretty fast. Like, I kind of want a little big one, but good luck getting it. I'm gonna have to grind for it if I want it. Purple chest. I can't open that yet, right? Yep. We should get ourselves up to the top of the mountain, ain't it? See what's up, what up there. Is there gonna be a guardian here too that I have to turn back to normal? Yeah. 
Is that the exact same raindrop as I had before? No, this is a different one. Into second form. Oh, these are into final forms. Oh, so you're telling me I can give this to you. Oh. Okay, well, maybe I hold it since it's pretty rare to get. Back the other uh, check that some more time. Your AI kind of just cycles through the, the familiars, it seems like. Dragon's so slow. Its experience gain is pretty low as well. Let me just check. Can I open my menu? There we go. Okay, everyone's not full anymore. a lot of attack. And I got a star drop. Millie Buster. 
Boogly Google Spooky BB You will be Spooky What I got? Ooh, flame ropes. Sounds sounds decent. You can wear ropes though. You? You? Why don't you just swap at Mr. Oaks? Why is this menu so confusing to open? Open some of these. So that's probably a dead end at the start. I'll come back into here. It's at the start anyways. So even if it teleports me out, I can just come back in. So if I were to put Griffin on front, she would automatically summon Griffin, right? It's exploding. What the? That was one huge tremor. Oh, Knickers. Knickers, Knickers, Knickers. What's wrong, Mr. Trippy? The big one is on the way. I can feel it in my lantern. This old boy's about to blow. You can really tell? Of course I can. I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, aren't I? Volcano eruption sensing child play for the likes of me, man. Then we have to hurry. We have to stop it. You're not wrong, man. We'll be toast if we don't. Come on, sit on top with you. Well, I couldn't even move before that happened. Trim Paler. Yeah, so she summons Griffin. Which will... She will swap that out in a second. If this fight goes on long enough. At least I'll save some MP from her. Like it, Ollie boy. There's not a moment to lose. It's only taking one damage. He's OP. And I got a moon drop. No, oh, two paths. Wait, I got a moon drop, right? 
so let's do it. Sounds good. I gotta level him up again. Strongo. I told you they said I could rename. Well, I guess that one can't be renamed. But I thought you they said you can rename after you metamorphize. Burning blades. I assume that's a weapon. However, it's fire damage, so it's probably not great here, since everything here is fire based. So Mighty's taking like 3 to 5 damage. damage because of Griffin. Griffin's stats are just so high. Wait, I have a deep fry. Serenade it. Poison Pinch. Uh, is that any good? It's physical damage. Don't know if it actually poisons, is the thing. 